Okay, boys, we're on the northeast side of O'Darren Island. I know it's been a bit of a walk, but we're gonna head up this way now. We're coming up on the place that I've been really excited to show you guys. On O'Darren Island, some 10 miles off the southern coast of Newfoundland, Canada, researcher Bill Smith has led Marty Lagina, Matty Blake, and diver Tony Sampson to a location rumored to contain millions in looted treasure connected to the 17th century English pirate, Peter Easton. Oh, wow. This is it? This is it. Wow. I believe that this is the pond that hides Peter Easton's treasure from 400 years ago. Is there any doubt amongst, let's say, conventional historians that Peter Easton was here on this island, that he had this as part of his dominion? There's a consensus amongst all all the parties that have been involved, the historical accounts have been handed down verbal Here. and oral traditions plus the written accounts. And then with some of the finds in the local area, I'd say a 99% certain. That's certainty. Yep. Conjecture is what's in that pond. Yep. Mr. Conjecture, <laughs> get suited up. <laughs> Looks like I got another pond, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the pond is exactly as I pictured it, except that the island itself is way more rugged and barren if this pond is actually lined with oak planks, well, for one thing, look around. There are no oak trees here. That would mean it, they were brought there specifically for some reason. I think if that particular legend is true, that this pond is lined with oak planks, I think we're onto something. While Tony investigates the muddy, shallow pond for signs of valuables, he will not only attempt to confirm that the feature's bottom is lined with oak planks, but he'll also look for evidence of possibly man-made flood tunnels that Bill believes are connected to a nearby natural spring. So that anomaly would be coming down here somewhere, feeding in? It, it, it stops abruptly at the, at the bottom of the hill. Just Got it. It starts and stops at the same spot, which is really peculiar. Interesting. Yeah. There's no way something should be there. There are so many legends about hiding things underwater, and it, it appears to work. Let's do what we came here for. Let's go. Let's go. I'm impatient. Mud diver. <laughs> I've heard so much about this pond from Bill. I'm so excited to get in this pond and actually prove or disprove that this might be a hidden location where Peter Easton might have stashed a treasure. Another day in the muck. When diving, basically mud. It's the usual challenge for Tony. You know, you've got water on top of a lot of muddy, silty nastiness. So, you know, it's difficult. Uh, Tony's up for it, though, and if anybody can figure it out, I think he can. Go get him, buddy. Once entering the pond, I realized this is going to be a braille dive. There's zero visibility. And I have my metal detector going from side to side, and I'm slowly moving forward. So Tony's probably touching bottom right now. What I'm feeling on the bottom is silt. I can penetrate through up to my shoulder in the silt, and I'm still not touching a hard bottom. Is that a piece of wood? That looks like a piece of wood to me. Yeah. Another piece of wood. That was definitely wood. So I'm feeling my way through the silt. I can feel timber planks, almost like they've been part of a, a box system. So maybe some sort of drainage system. So I don't know what these artifacts are. So I can't wait to get something up to the surface and let the guys have a look at it. He's found something. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's got timber. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. What on earth is that? I don't know. It's quite a collection. Yeah, that's some, quite that's quite a bit, like eh? It's planking to me. Oh, it stinks like the swamp Marty back on Oak Island. No oh, good. Huh. That is look definitely at that. planking. Look at that. Good job, mate. We're shutting off the air. Huh. There was timber on the bottom. Wow. So I don't know if it's oak, but, um, and then this you can see has been worked. Look at that. Yeah, that definitely has. You see, she, she's cut on the end there as Both well. Both ends, yeah. It's beautiful. 
Look at this, they're notched out. They almost fit together like a puzzle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Piece Where's of a crate. Looks like a crate That box. could be an old crate, yeah. yeah. Or it felt like it was in the mud, so maybe it was boxing something in. Ah. Uh. Yes. Question is, do those grooves there in the end look fabricated or hand done? I mean, what they used to do with the old fret and coping saws, eh? You look at the beautiful French furniture that was done by hand, eh? Who knows, buddy? Yeah. Although varying styles of joinery have existed in woodworking for thousands of years, the dovetail style, which Tony has just found an example of, was widely commonplace in Western Europe during the 16th and 17th centuries. Is it possible? that the team has just recovered evidence of a legendary treasure that many believe Peter Easton buried in this area sometime around 1612? I mean, you wanted an oak-lined pond. I don't know if it's oak, but it's definitely lined in that. How much of it is down there? Ah, uh, there's, there's still heaps. It's a start. Yeah. So I'm not an expert in wood, but when we look at the wood, there's patterns of a cutting, there's dovetailing. There's so many questions that need to be answered. Plan B is we'll do some more magnetometer work with the drone, so we're still optimistic. Good job, mate. Good job, Tony. Matty and Elena, our team, we've called the dive in the pond for now, so if you want to run your full scan on the pond, that would be a great time right now, over. Due to the lack of visibility and thick muck on the bottom of the pond, drone expert Jordan Bannister will now scan it with a magnetometer in order to look for signs of metal beneath the wood planking. Once the scan is completed, it will then take several days to process the collected data. If Peter Easton left any significant part of his treasure under that pond, under those planks, they could find it with this technology and give us a clear picture and a real GPS located spot to dive on, which would be really cool. Great job, guys. Talk soon. OK, back we go. I can, I can feel supper and a beer coming off. Oh, oh baby. Perfect.